Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic is Do the Word, Be Disciplined in Prayers. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Today's Do the Word instruction is a very serious one. Even though, believer, even though believers speak about the end of the world, many people no longer live as though they believe that the world will end one day. If you are a believer who doesn't believe this, here is one scripture that puts it clearly. The end of the world is coming soon. Someone told me a few days ago that she had been hearing that the world is coming to an end since she was a child and that she didn't really believe it anymore. The Bible tells us in Matthew 24 that before the world ends, people will live as though the world would not and be carrying on with business as usual, but then they will be shocked. Anyway, let me not digress. The Bible says the end of the world is coming soon. As a result of this information, this same Bible now tells us something to do to posture ourselves for this event that will happen. And this is where I am going today. It says, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Question, how disciplined are you in your prayers? What does a disciplined prayer life look like? Do you pray when you like? Are your prayers haphazard and without any depth or impute from your heart? Do you pray on some days and not pray on others? The times that are coming are such that will test every living being. And the Bible is telling us that the surest way to ensure that we can withstand all that would come upon the world would be by being earnest and disciplined in our prayers. Today's do the word instruction is straightforward. And I believe all of us can self-assess. Again, what is the state of your prayer life? Can you really say you are disciplined in your prayers? Do you have a prayer rhythm? Do you only pray when there is a prayer meeting with other people? And when you do get on to praying, can we describe your prayer as earnest or are you distracted in prayer? Never forget what this series is about. If you are not doing the word, you are to repent and ask for grace to start doing it. There are times when you cannot help yourself and your prayer altar just feels cold and dry. Run to fellow believers for help. I have been very fortunate in this kind of issue where I have struggled with prayer. I'm able to run to my prayer group or run to my husband and say, I am struggling. This has happened more than once and I have enjoyed how people have prayed me out of coldness. Never suffer in silence as a believer. Never allow your prayer altar to go cold. Shout for help and allow your brothers and sisters in the faith lift you out of the valley. Do the word, my dear ones. Be earnest and disciplined in prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word this morning. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.